A vigil tonight for the 16-year-old who died in a crash at Babcock Ranch this morning. How people are remembering him as the Florida Highway Patrol investigates how the crash happened. Plus, the man accused of shooting and killing a Fort Myers police officer is representing himself in court. It's very rare for somebody to be representing themselves on a death penalty case. How this decision is playing out so far. More than six months after Hurricane Ian hit Punta Rasa and points east to look at how some businesses have handled the situation and why other big ones are not coming back. As Fox 4 News at 10 starts now. Live from Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 10. Begin tonight with a tragedy in Babcock Ranch after a teenager was killed and another injured in a crash this morning. Thank you for watching Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Nadine Yanis. I am Chris Earl. Fox 4 was there as the Babcock Neighborhood School held a vigil for students tonight. Whenever you're sad, he'd bring you right back up and make you happy all over again. <laughs> and I'm going to miss him so much. I know he's not here on earth right now, but soon. I'll see him up in heaven. Mm. And this is not a large school, but this is how classmates are remembering Dane Zegrind, who they have identified as the teen who died in this morning's crash at the vigil tonight. They did describe him as a friendly, vibrant, full of positivity young man. Dozens of students and their family members gathered at the school, lighting these candles in Dane's honor and sharing their favorite memories of him. The Florida Highway Patrol says he and another 16-year-old boy were traveling down Saw Palmetto Parkway near Seedling Terrace just after 6 a.m. This is in the southern part of Babcock Ranch. Troopers say the driver lost control of the car, crashing into several palm trees. The car then overturned. Both teenagers went to the hospital where Dane Zeger, the passenger, later died. The Highway Patrol says the driver has minor injuries.